Hey guys, Renee from Bargain Hunter Thrift Store here. It's June 20th, I believe. And I'm about to give you a little store tour. I'm gonna show you some of the stuff that we've been working on. We just opened back up yesterday on the 19th, so we were closed for almost four months, or three months or four months? What's that, three, no, we were closed for three months. So we cleaned it back up. You guys seen how the store was when all the toys were in here, when we had, everything was packed. We spent a whole week working 14 hours a day cleaning everything up. So I'm gonna show you different things. Let me show you this over here. Remember, so we have all these pallets because that's the only way of doing it. Guys, we have all these pallets here. Remember that deal where that day we spent $6,200 with our favorite auctioneer, Dan Dotson, and the deal that's $3,000. So I bought these in the first week of March. It's about to be July, and we still haven't opened them. And the reason I just put on pallets because we actually want to open these on video. So sometimes this week, we're going to go through these. We're going to show it, and hopefully there's good stuff in there. Uh, let's go inside the store. Come on. We're going to have this. So out of the toy deal, we also got like all these Hawaiian shirts. We've been selling them for $9.99. We've been open today and yesterday, and we keep on restocking them because we only do one rack. But we probably sold 30 of them, don't you think, Nana? Yes. Yeah, I sold one today. Nana's behind the camera, by the way. Everybody say hi to her. Hello. <laughs> so we have Nana. new uh, days. We'll be open 11 to 7, and we'll be closed on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Yes, yeah, so Tatiana's making a really good valid point. I forgot to do that after Casey was yelling at me. But Tuesday, th Thursday through Monday, 11 to 7, close Tuesday, Wednesday. Uh, we have the signs out there. And also, late on the video, we're going to talk about this sign in particular here because some people get mad. And I'm going to tell you the thinking of a business person because everybody has an opinion, but nobody has a business. So I'm going to give you the business point of view. Now, you walk into Bargain Hunters. That's the lovely Casey. Hey, guys. With a tigress mask. I know. I... Check it out. There's Shield. no customers in here right now, so I'm taking off my mask. Check out the shield for protection we built. Just hanging, really simple. 80 bucks for this, and about another $20 in hardware and 10 minutes worth of work. Actually, probably 15 minutes worth of work. We got this, protects them, and we put one right here that just kind of protects the keyboard below so nobody spits on the keyboard. Uh, we do wear masks, nobody's in here right now, so it's just us. Droplets. Droplets, droplets. So this will be the beginning of our Hot Wheels section. We have 30,000 Hot Wheels to price, and people been coming and buying them. I just haven't had time to price it that much yet. Um, the seven thousand dollar toy deal. Last time you guys were here, you probably remember this deal. So the tables were four long, so now they are two long. So we sold half of it by now. Um, we just sold a bunch of furniture over here. This piece down there sold. We just sold for three fifty. There was another piece that we sold today for three fifty. Desk sold for three fifty. And we kind of up this area with knickknacks. You want to kind of show? We'll just do a quick walk. People can pause. Wait till I should take you guys in the other room, guys. Show you all my hot wheels. The store is a little bit of a mess right now, but it's kind of hard because we bought all this deal right before everything happened. And then, uh, you know, we shut down. So all the stuff was coming in, the sale stopped, but it's all good. So right now we opened up on a. Uh, we opened up on a Friday, Saturday, and uh, we should do about five thousand dollars the first two days. I think right now we're like forty eight, forty nine hundred, so that's really good. Got a bunch of money coming in again, which is nice. More stuff. You want to go to the other room now? Sure. Follow me. You can uh, take this opportunity to do some yelling, Nana. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, yeah, the other room, I, I oh. actually tried yodeling once. I it just didn't go that well. <laughs> oh, check this. So everything I need is blankets. I forgot. So remember in the toy deal, these are all records that we haven't priced yet. So I'm gonna price these next week. And you see Peter Pan. This is an amazing collection. Stevie Nicks, Rolling Stones. This is totally coincidental, I just picked a box at random. Crosby Nash, Kiss. So we'll have about 3,000 records coming and these are just amazing. Oh, you know, we gotta make sure that these wire racks don't hurt these records. No, I mean, I think that's just damaged to begin with, but we'll, we'll double check it in a minute. No, I think it's damaged to begin with. Okay, will you close it back up for yeah. me? So, so the store will have about four or five thousand records and when, we, when, when these get priced next week. So what I'm going to do this weekend, we're going to be off Tuesday and Wednesday. I need to get caught up with some YouTube stuff. And then uh, when we come back, the following Tuesday and Wednesday, I'm going to do two days that we're off. I'm actually going to come here and price the records. Follow me. Follow me. I just put these out if you need some last minute Father's Day gifts, but I think it's gonna come after Father's Day. Really cool military veteran statues made by Hasbro. Then I wanted to show you this. All these boxes right here, 
they are pretty much all Hot Wheels, Johnny Lightning, cars, and there's a few Star Wars uh, 375 figures. Come over here too, Nana. These are all, all Hot Wheels all the way to the ground. So like I said, I got about 30,000 of them to price. You guys seen these sections, tool sections, DVD sections. Oh, Tatiana, when we're done filming, will you fill up these holes? Sure. Somebody must have bought a bunch here. So we're always overflowing on DVDs, plus I got another 6,000 back stock. But usually when I buy DVDs, I pay 10 cents a piece if I buy them from people's collections. And we sell them still four for 10 bucks and we sell them all the time. People say, oh, you don't pay enough, you don't pay enough, you should pay more. I'm like, I have like 10,000 of back stock, I don't need them. If somebody wants to sell me their collection for 10 cents a piece, I'll buy them. And usually people do, because nobody wants to buy them in quantities. And almost every storage that we buy, I get boxes of DVDs these days. You guys remember this? This is Star Wars and G.I. Joe Wall. These were every peg was completely filled and we sold all that stuff. So we can actually restock this and combine it and make half of it. And then we'll put fresh stuff in from the toy deal. Down there, say hi to Miss Cheryl. Say hi, Miss Cheryl. Uh, no. There's nobody in the store right now if you want to take your mask off for a minute, if you need some air. Thank you. So she's doing, this is the very last part. So you guys remember all these racks were pushed aside. It was full of boxes with toys. So basically, she's spending the whole day just kind of trying to organize the section, getting it ready for customers. And this is the last part. It's just kind of house maintenance cleaning. Yes. Um, you know, Fluffy Gamer was in our store yesterday. He spent 250 bucks on video games. Go to his channel, check it out. And he said he'll kind of sell them the same day for about 350 because video games went up, so that was good. But he was fair. He told me, he goes like, hey, Renee, you only want 80 for this. Easily 120, 130 on eBay. And I told him, I was like, you know what? You've seen it. I priced it. Take it. Now we go down the walls here. Nothing but toys. Wookiee. Star Wars. Transformers. Can you see that good? Mm-hmm. Okay. Little Star Wars. That's not Transformers. That's Star Wars. Transformers. Star Wars. Combo. Oh. Oh, I guess. What's the, what's the number one rule we said? Daddy's always right. Not all the time. I think pretty sure all the time. Django fed. You said like sharks were like, you said something about sharks. I don't want to talk about and, it. And like you were wrong in the end. I don't care. If you don't admit to it, you're not wrong. Stormtroopers. Wonder Woman. And a Superman. Check out this little old Batmobile. We got big ones up there, Star Wars. Those are really good, Tauntauns. We should put that with your Barbie collection. I don't have a Barbie collection. Well, we need to get You stuff. have a Barbie collection. Ah. Uh, uh, you know what? It's all fun and games right now, but one day you're going to start dating, and I can't wait to say the sentence, son, let me talk to you. So depending on how you play your cards the next couple years, be very careful. I don't get it. Uh, it's okay. He'll get it in a couple years. So I'll tell him some Nana stories. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I was like... Yeah, she's cute, but picture this. <laughs> Classic TV series, Batmobile and Batman. Volkswagen, Street Rots, Microbuses, G.I. Joe, Masterpiece Edition. How about a pink label, Star Trek Barbie? She's pretty. Uh, yeah, she actually, she, I think she was, uh, this was the first interracial kiss on television. She kissed Captain Kirk on Star Trek, and it was totally like ahead of its time. It was the first interracial kiss on television. I believe. So yeah, I don't know if it was in movies or television or if it was just on network television. So I don't remember the history, but she was a really big pioneer for that. So, And great actress for all the Star Wars fans. How come this one is not standing up? Oh, somebody bought a, a Spider-Man. Spider-Man one, yeah. Here's the symbiote. We got <laughs> Iron Man. We got some Lego Dimensions. Star Wars Land Speeder. Hush. Superman. Sin City. Gorky little model, Batmobile. Oh, well, we got Yoda's, we already sold one of them. 80 bucks. Darth Maul. Tatiana said this movie sucked, but he was the second f favorite villain behind uh, I never Darth said Vader. that. You said you don't like it, didn't you? The first one? Actually, that was somebody else, never mind. That was somebody else. Sorry, I like all Star Wars. G.I. Joe's, the vintage ones. I said the one where everybody dies. 
It was terrible. No, that was good too. The only thing when I watched the movie, I didn't realize that uh, it, it was just like a Star Wars story. I thought it was like part four, so part four. Yeah, at the end, my dad was like, I thought it was the continuation. I never saw the main character once in the movie. Well, I thought it was the prequel, and I'm, and I'm like, man, like, the storyline doesn't make sense. And then later, Kate said, no, that was just a Star Wars story. I'm like, <laughs> well, the movie would have been more enjoyable if you know that, so I probably have to rewatch it. So, guys, so you see some of the toys here. That's not even a third of the percent. Check this out back here. All these boxes, this goes, you know, 15 feet back all the way on top. And then all the boxes right here, all the way through. Those are all action figures that we haven't looked at. We haven't even priced them yet. So let's go down this row right here. So these are all action figures. So we have enough action figures. I probably can price action figures every day for the next three months and new stuff comes up. And we sold a lot of stuff already. You know, we had a bunch of these Young Justice and a guy bought almost a whole series. Lost in Space. Ooh. I don't know if I showed in the video that I might have taken some footage that comes out. Um, Darth Vader diecast. This is really cool. Um, Star Wars. Monopoly. And then Tatiana's favorite game, The Wizard of Oz. No. No? I like how you make stuff up. I'm kind of <laughs> just like, I don't even know. I don't make stuff up. I'm just trying to mess with you. Oh, you don't think Wizard of Oz board game would be good? That's cool. Mm, I guess. It's the Wizard of Oz. We have to see the Wizard, the wonderful Wizard of Oz. Mm -hmm. No? Nothing? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> oh, remember in a, in a previous video we talked about the Doctor Dooms? We yes. sell these for $29.99. If you don't like Doctor Doom, you can get the Wolverine. $29.99. Or you can get Doctor Moon. No, Doctor Doom. Doctor Moon. I just like it how you make stuff up. <laughs> Star Wars. Oh, Gremlins. What do you Oh, yeah, those are cool. Those are like little uh, vinyls, like Funkos almost. Did you ever watch the whole movie yet? I know we started yeah. watching it. And at these, I was really surprised they don't really have much value, but these are Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. For, uh, we have $9.99 on them. Oh, I saw this earlier. The little um, princess relationships. Those are cute. I see them at like Target. Relationships? Yeah, Romancers? a romance series. Weird. It's Ariel and... Uh, what's his name? Prince... Whatever, who cares? Invisible Man. I care. <laughs> Princesses should not be in relationships. Everybody knows that. I mean... I don't think there is one that hasn't been. Elsa. Millennium Falcon, X-Wing Fighter, TIE Advanced, X-1. One of my favorite characters, a Stormtrooper. Oh, that would have been bad if that fell. Yeah, it's okay. The Pod Razor Pilots. These Masterpiece, which is really crazy. Like, we only have 29 bucks on these. <laughs> oh, somebody opened it up. They weren't open yesterday. Oh, well, guess what? Somebody's gonna have to watch security footage today to find, figure it out. Might have been those teenagers who were messing around. Well, if they did, then so we, if they do destroy stuff, we actually take their pictures and put it on Facebook and send a message to their family. Be like, hey, just if those are your kids, have them come in and pay for the stuff they broke. Oh, this is broken right here. What is? That. Oh, that one was broken. So that's the Rob Zombie. I just put 20 bucks in it. It actually goes for 50, 60 bucks, but the packaging is broken. So I figured somebody can buy it that wants to display it and clean it. A lot of Star Wars Black Series. We sell these for 15 bucks a piece. Luke Skywalker. One of my favorite shows, Star Trek. Spock. You watch it, like, all the time. I like it. I like Star Trek. Justice League, Titans. So remember that pallet deal? We, you notice if you go through the store, a lot of the stuff that we had in there, we just sold out of these. These we just restocked. And, like, I don't think these would sell. We sell these for $9.99 food delivery bags. And before everything that happened, we sold these like crazy. We sold out of these. So here we still got some splices and knives and body paints and these scarves. We sell really good. They're not displayed right here, but we don't have that much space right now. Chili the bo doll, Barbie. That's not a Barbie. <laughs> Did you say chili or cheerleader? Cheerleader. Don't make fun of me. People are watching. I couldn't me. hear. Hey, <laughs> you guys mind your own business, okay? Just don't be rude. Make fun of me all the time. Public is watching. Wait, say vinegar. Say I need to pay for my own college. <laughs> he says vinegar. <laughs> Where's the vinegar? Gizmo. Vinegar. Vinegar. <laughs> See, folks, that's why I cry a lot. I'm being harassed. Not only do I have to hate as my own family, just pick on me. By the way, if anybody wants to pick up a fat guy and you happen to be rich, I might be available. Oh, I got really awkward and quiet now, huh? Oh, check this out. This is awesome. Star Trek Bork. Sean Luke Picard. 
Is it Jean Luc? No, it's just a regular Bob. Still cool. Boba Fett. Uh, horsies. Oh, it's a Teletubby. I said. Oh, yeah. Ah, who used to watch Teletubbies all the time? That's so cool now. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, because I was playing with it earlier. Because, like, look at its eyes. It's you know, just to... Just... Hey, Renee. <laughs> <laughs> look what my belly can do. <laughs> you know, just to mess, mess with you, when you take one of your first boys over and they want to take you on a date, I'm like, yeah, take it to the Teletubby movie if you want to impress her. There you oh, go. God. I'll mess that up for you. Here, Ravel Gold Series. Um, we have 20 bucks on these. Game of Thrones. Okay, so we have to put on our masks. Okay, so, I don't know. We'll see, there's nobody around me. When we get close, let me know, but you keep your mask on. Mm -hmm. So, um, oh, more yeah. stuff, store tour. He's, he's right over there. Okay, let's go up here. Um, we didn't show the Funko Pops. Oh, they got messed up, I was. Yeah, it's okay. They always do. We like, basically on a Saturdays, you restock them every day. So all these are Funko Pops. And they're like all different ones, but normally I stack them two and three high. So right now, look at Freddy Krueger. Like a good neighbor, Stay. Freddy is there. He's so pixely. Yeah, so uh, I wonder if it's like, it's like pixel edition. Oh, it's an 8-bit oh, edition it's for probably, the video game. Yeah. So, so all these, like we sell these really well. Oh, Hi hey there. Guys, welcome to Bargain Hunters. Hi. Hi. So that's the store. I mean, that's some more toys here, but we had more customers coming in. By the way, it's the end of the day of Saturday, so it kind of dies down now. Um, and a lot of people don't know that we opened yet, but let's check how we did today. So we reset this number every day. And today we didn't have any big sales, so it was all like, you know, 30 to $40 sales. Oh, let me unlock the station. Don't show the password. Don't show the password. Distract them there. We'll look at my mom carrying yeah. cleaning supplies. <laughs> so, last time I checked, we were like close to 2,000. And the store is still going to be open for two more hours. And right here, 2461. Right there? Up there. No, that's with tag. No, up here, 2461. Oh. That's and the same thing. We took in 1564 in credit cards and 941 in cash. Very nice. And then how much sales tax did we collect for our local government? It shows here somewhere too. Oh, with the sales tax, twenty six fifty one. So the government made about $210, so actually $204 in sales tax today. You know what I call that? What? Me going to college. The government's not gonna pay for you to go to college. Well, no, just like the overall. What overall? Well, me and mommy think maybe it's like sending you to college is a waste of money. <laughs> you know, sometimes you just go say, hey, this is not gonna work out well, you know? <laughs> Maybe we can't send you to like car work school enough. That's there anything wrong with that. So driving school's enough. Yeah, I don't think we want you to drive for whole road hazard. I can go with these jokes all day long, girl. I'm like a professional trash talker. So what So he says that he's getting abused, but you can decide. Hey, who you really fired is. the first shot over there, you know? You were like, um, <laughs> you, you made a mistake. Don't poke the bear. Remember what to say. Don't poke the bear. We get going. But so that's our sales for today. So 2461, which is not bad for just being the second day open. We'll take it and no major sales. I think we sold one item for 350 bucks. Um, but so what I was going to say earlier too, you know, because people always want to criticize or tell you like how stuff works. When you watch our channel, you're going to learn. You're going to get real knowledge. We show you the real numbers. Those numbers get reset every day. Uh, yesterday, the first day we were open, we had a couple of big sales, but we did 2300 yesterday. But we did have one person spend 600 another person spent 300 So that was great. So we're going to do like almost $5,000 the first two days, which is awesome. Helps to pay some of those bills since we've been closed so long. But so another thing I was going to address earlier with the mask signs. You know, some of the people were making comments on YouTube and Facebook like this. Oh, I'll never go to a store that requires weird mask. Or you guys are... Uh, uh, you are controlled by the government with the mask. Guys, I'm a businessman. I don't care. I don't care about left. I don't care about right, okay? Okay, we Be care about making money and living. It's, it's okay, a we business. We don't want to get sick. We don't want to die to make some money. But even that, so from an even bigger point, so obviously we want to be as safe as we can because of the community and stuff like this. And if you over safe, nothing gets hurt, okay? If you're under safe, stuff could go wrong. But that's not even the point. If you have a business, the government gives you a certain point, certain laws that you have to follow as a business because they issue a business license. And I can say, well, I don't want to follow those laws. Guess what? They pull your business license and you're out of business. Um, certain things you can even get arrested for or get sued for. So if the government says a certain thing, we have to do it. If I want to change it, 
I can run for office and try to outvote it and stuff like this. But at the end of the day, if you have a business license, you have to follow the rules. 